Yeah, hello, it's me again. Um, just doing a depth of field tutorial. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a bit sick. Um, but hey, I finally have time to do a tutorial now. Um, depth of field is generally where a background on something that is further away is blurrier to something that is closer. Um, it can really add a lot to pictures. Um, I don't know, it just seems to make um, the quality of the pitch seem a lot better. Uh, here's an example, um, here's another example where the background's blurred, uh, the foreground is nice and clear. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, let's um, let's get stuck into it. First off, you've got your picture that you want to add a depth of field to. Just duplicate it, <clears throat> then you go to your effects, your blur. Um, Honestly, you can use whatever blur you want. Um, Gaussian blur should be fine. That's what I always use. This one, it'll probably just need five. Um, the other one, since it's a higher quality picture, um, it needed 30. But yeah, just find out what works for you. So anyway, we've got our blurred layer. So we'll call that blurred. And we've got this normal one. Alright, so go to your blurred layer, get your eraser tool, and what you want to do is go into the properties, the layer properties, you can get there just by double clicking on the layer. Put the um, <coughs> transparency down so you get like more of a clear picture, I'll just put it on 70 for this. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to zoom in and you're going to outline everything around your picture. I'm going to probably fast forward about here, but you don't need to do the whole inside because we'll get that. Just make sure you do like outlining of your picture. Anyway, here, I'll fast forward here. <laughs> and we're done so <clears throat> to just check that you've gone around completely fine turn your blurred layer all the way up and then untick your normal layer if you've got a nice line that goes all the way around you've done it right and then this is where we get rid of everything so back to your eraser tool just make it nice and big and get rid of everything on the inside of that outline you did anyway fast forward it again here <laughs> Now that we're done, you just put your normal layer back on and there you have it. There's your depth of field. Although in this, it looks a little weird because the ground in my feet in this picture is also blurred as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your gradient tool. Uh, you'll select linear gradient and then up here 
where it's usually color mode just click the drop down thing and put it to transparency mode now what you want to do is right click and drag up so that the base of the picture is clear and it'll fade out into a blurred part um, I'll start making the line at the start is pretty clear and then it fades in it out into a blurred line and there you go there's your depth of field